New research shows the odor of our hands can identify our biological sex. But how can this be? It's all about chemistry. Smell. It's one of the most ancient of our senses. We smell inside our mother's womb, even before we are born. Without our olfactory sense, our food and drink lacks taste. It's also true that what we smell like can be a key biomarker. Similar to our pulse, blood pressure, or blood chemistry, our scent can provide clues to our identity, our health, even whether or not we've committed a crime. The problem we're trying to solve is that when you go to a crime scene, we now focus on DNA if somebody leaves their DNA, or we may look at eyewitness identification, or we may look at other methods. But human scent is evidence, and right now it's overlooked. For the most part, we don't collect human scent as evidence, and it could be a very, very powerful tool by doing studies like this. As we move through the world, our odor remains, along with sweat and oils, as we constantly shed the epidermis, or outer layer, of our skin. Our body temperature is typically warmer than the room temperature, so we, ha we have what's called like a human thermal plume. So there's a constant flow of warm air rising up from your body, and that warm air actually brings skin cells along with it, and those skin cells are saturated with your scent. Research has found that human odor is actually a complex mixture of volatile organic compounds secreted from our bodies. These VOCs, or volatile organic compounds, are actually a mixture. There could be hundreds of different chemicals there. And what we do is we identify the most important chemicals that can be used for differentiating a person. VOCs can be analyzed by an instrument called a gas chromatograph mass spectrometer. So we take and sample the object put it into this GC mass spec, as we call it, and we can identify exactly what the chemicals are and the amount of each chemical. This research is revealing a hidden world of odor signatures that follow us wherever we go. Exactly where these VOCs come from, we're still studying, but there's a combination that's part of your biochemistry. Even identical twins produce different scents that can be differentiated. And what happens is the, the odor comes out through usually the, the glands, like your sweat glands and uh, epocrine glands. And there's actually a unique microbial flora or bacteria on your body. And that actually interacts with the VOCs and creates another unique characteristic. But a lot of this is still being studied. We don't know exactly uh, where the VOCs are coming from. And this is just the beginning. We're actually looking at other class characteristics that we can use to help identify a person who left their VOCs or their odor behind. And we're trying to develop better techniques, both the instrument as well as the analysis, to improve the accuracy of these methods.